In this video, we'll be using composition of several functions. If we're composing several functions, start in the inside and work out. In example one, we see we have three functions. We need to find f of g of h of two. Another way of writing this problem would be f of g of h of two. And if we think of it this way, you can also think of substitution. We'll be doing three substitutions with three different functions, plus putting a two in for x. Let's start on the inside and work our way out. h of two would be h of two, which is the square root of three times two, because in place of x, we're putting two. When we simplify this, we get the square root of six. Now let's substitute this h of two in for g of root six. Now we'll have f of g of root six. Now let's look at the g function. g of x is x squared minus five. So g of root six would look like this. In place of x squared, we'll put root six squared minus five. This will give us six minus five or one. When we put that into the f of x function, we get f of one is equal to x plus two, where x is now one, and we get three. In the second example, we have three functions once again, but now we are substituting for x with an a. Once again, I'll write this as a composition of functions where we work from the inside out. Let's start with, with h of a. h of a will mean we're substituting a in for x. This will give us the square root of three times a, where a goes in place of x. From here, we take root three a and plug it into g of x. So g of x will now be g of root three a and wherever there was an x in the function, we're going to put root three a. From here we get three a, because the square root of three a squared is three a minus five. Now that we know what g of root three a is, we can substitute it into the original f of x, the outmost function. 
since f of x is x plus 2, we'll put a space where the x was and substitute 3a minus 5 in its place. When we simplify this, we get 3a minus 5 plus 2, which gives us 3a minus 3. And this is my final answer.